switching topics in today's tech check. We use our phones for almost everything. But what if I told you you can get so much more out of that smart little device? Desert News columnist and our favorite techie friend Amy Iverson is here to show us how to master smartphone shortcuts, making your phone smarter and faster than ever before. That's right. Sometimes you just don't know about yeah, it and clueless. you're missing out. Smarter, faster. So I always talk about iPhone, so I brought a few Android tips for people so you don't get phone okay. calls. So um, let's start with something that I love that Android does that iPhone does not do and I wish they did. What? It puts contacts at the touch of your finger on your home screen. So who do you call most? My your husband, yeah. your mom, maybe. So what um, Android does is they give you the capability to add, they call them widgets. It's being able to put stuff on your home screen. And you can pick your favorite contact, whoever that is, uh -huh. and you can make out of these three choices. You can say, when I push this button on my home screen, their contact info comes up. Or when I push this button on my home screen, it calls my husband. Nice. Or when I push this button, it texts. So you don't have to go searching for that text thread with your husband that's like 20 down. Nice. It's just automatic. There are some phone numbers that I should have memorized that I don't. No. Like, don't you hate it when people say, one you time I was asked my husband's home. phone number and I was like, hold on, hold on. No, okay. We don't know those things. All right. So I love that. Wish, wish iPhone would do that, but they don't. What and else? The other thing I love is, you know, like on your remote at home, you push the last if you're switching between the jazz game and HGTV or whatever it is, right? right? <laughs> Good um, option. Android has that on their phone. So if you were just looking at Facebook, but you're also posting to Instagram and you want to flip back and forth, it's really easy right on the front screen that little square it's called the overview button on androids you can toggle that toggles back and forth nice okay what else and the last one might be that you don't know how to take a screenshot on your android phone mm. the problem with android phones is they're all different but um, the majority of them you just click your volume and your power buttons at the same time to take a screenshot but look at this cool feature they have you act like your hand is like a photo scanner. So oh. if you enable this on your Android phone, when you do the karate <gasps> chop across the front of your That's screen, cool. it takes a screenshot. Yeah, okay, all right. Enough, enough, enough of the Android. Okay. You want <laughs> to move to your phone? I know phone. we always get emails, but let's talk about me okay. for a minute. What I'm about I'm just going to show on my phone real quick. This is an oldie, but one that I know a lot of people don't know about, and I use it all the time. Okay. So if you have ever looked at your compass, which me, never use it. Where okay. is my compass? Under your utilities, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you just swipe left, swipe left, this is the best thing on my iPhone. I use this all the time. It's Where a level. It? <gasps> Oh. So when you're hanging a picture, I mean, look how much easier this is than trying to get the bubble between the two lines oh, my on an goodness. actual level. Yes. You can do it this way, too. I just set it on top of my picture, whatever I'm hanging. I mean, how much easier is that to mm -hmm, read, mm -hmm. right? Boom, goes green this is when one it's of level. those moments that I think my grandpa said was such a handyman that if he would have, you know, lived to see that, that would have Would just, you like it or oh, hate it? it? it blows mind. Yeah, totally. What okay. else? Give us so a couple the level. more. Um, also, if your kids are the age where you're teaching them how to dial 911, are you oh, doing this with... Not quite. No. Okay. So who has a landline these days? The majority right. of people don't have landlines. And so does your daughter know your passcode to be able to get on your phone and dial 911? How would she dial 911? She does know my passcode. She doesn't know 911. Okay, good but... for her. Well, if you have an iPhone 7 or below, mm -hmm. they make it really easy. All you do is press your wake button five times. Watch. Okay, this <gasps> pops up. Oh my goodness. And so you can either dial emergency. Uh -huh. The reason it says SOS is because no matter what country you're in, it's going to call emergency. Oh my goodness. Um, also, I want you to make sure you go in your settings and, and update your medical ID stuff. Okay. Because if you do dial 911, then it will also contact those emergency contacts. So it'll text your husband and say, Brooke just dialed 911. Amazing. Isn't that awesome? Amazing. All right, time for one more. Okay, the last one is just the most simple, and this is how I found stuff on your phone. What? If you're looking for something on your phone, I see people searching through their settings or searching through their apps. All you have to do on any number or on any home screen is pull down like that. Pull down. You get a search bar at the top. What? You can search for any app. You Compass. can do this within settings, and it'll find those for you so you don't spend oh 20 gosh. minutes oh, there searching it is. for an app. Amy, we just thank you in every way. You're those welcome. are fun little tricks. Save You're writing time. up a few more in your column? That's right. DeseretNews.com slash Amy. Thank you so Thanks much.